This is my base, and unfortunately, I'm about to blow up the entire thing. Why did I do it? Well, in order to understand that, I need to take you through a week-long journey that all started with this message. Me and my team are going to kill on sight anyone above 10 hearts or above 0.0, .0 stopwatches. They call themselves the Timekeepers, a team that seeks to kill players in order to keep everyone on 10 hearts. Because we play on a server where every hour you gain a heart, people are used to fighting with double the amount of hearts that you normally would, which causes fights to be tedious, long, and repetitive. And this player, Hazel, had had enough. Now with her new team, she threatened to leave everyone in despair and changed the server forever and i wasn't gonna stand for it after creating a small team we made it our mission to take down each of the timekeepers one by one even if it means leaving behind what you once loved but we still have a problem we don't know who the timekeepers are or how many of them we need to worry about we needed to keep an open eye on the lookout for any signs of who was on the timekeepers and it wouldn't take long for us to figure it out oh hazel's here hazel's here hazel's here oh no 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 no, no. wait hazel's at your base Yes, bro, she's here, she's here, she's here. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Please. Yes! Oh, no, that's not good, that's not good. Oh, he's in a bad spot. It might be over for just. I'm gonna try to build you an escape tunnel. Please do, I don't know how long I can survive this. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wait, what is this? Let's go. Water cave. He's still gonna one by one. On him. Water cave. Yeah, he's so on. dead. They are, it's these. Yeah. Disable the shield. Disable the shield. Get ready. <laughs> he plays TNT, bro. I need you to help. Oh, yeah, I built the portal. I'm on my way to you. I'm gonna drop TNT. Okay. I've locked it up. I'm dropping TNT. Disable the shield. Hold shield, hold shield. Oh, oh, they dropped TNT down. Wait, can I eat this in time? Oh, oh! <laughs> they live here! <laughs> what a chorus. Oh, you're under a mountain, aren't you? I know exactly where I am. I don't know if I can get back to the surface sometime, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. You oh try? my gosh, I'm actually making the surface. I might actually make the surface. I'm actually, I'm about to exit my base, bro. Oh my I'm god, I see you. Disc, disc. Go, 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 go. just sprint. Okay, follow me, follow me, follow me. There's no one directly on us, but the hole's right here. Oh my gosh, that's so clutch. I had somehow escaped. And not only that, but we found out who the timekeepers really were. The timekeepers are made up of six people. Hazel, Roki Lottle, Alex, Extinguisher, It's Rylan, and Jay Steel. And they would stop at nothing as long as they achieved their goal of keeping everyone on 10 hearts. And I was mere seconds away from being their first victim. But I learned something from that fight. My base was now compromised. Where I once could peacefully stay and hang out with the other members was now constantly being patrolled by the timekeepers. I knew it wasn't safe to stay at my base anymore. So I decided to pack up my bags and move elsewhere. But not before having a little bit of fun. If I'm gonna be hunted down and killed, I might as well go out with the bang. The timekeepers are expecting to find me at my base, so what if I use that to my advantage and blow them up? Is it a bit extreme? Uh, yeah. But at this point, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get my revenge. So in order to prepare myself for the grand explosion, I knew that I needed to set up a new base of operations that I could use to get all the TNT I needed. And while I spent time building the most beautiful base you've ever seen, I got word that my teammate Charlie wanted to fight Jay Steel in the end. So me and two other teammates went to go help her out. And it went pretty well. But during our fight, one of our teammates, Jabote, had entered the end. And a couple of hours prior, we got word that Jabote was going to betray our team. So after such a high moment, we got greedy and decided to attack Jabote. Little did we know that it would lead to our demise. Oh, Ryland's here. I bet, right? Oh, oh, what happened to that? Oh. TNT, 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 TNT. Oh, j too. j too. Yeah. Actually, he's just walking towards the edge. Careful. I think I just shot him off. My bad. Oh my god. Not bad. Oh, they're killing the dragon. They're gonna. I'm dead. No. Um, keep him distracted. Keep him distracted, Jess. Nah, Jabote's there. Okay. Well oh, Jabote's trying to farm me. Spawn. No, Wait, no, no. I'm not letting that happen. I'm not what letting that happen. What? Yeah, I'm not letting him farm storm. Jess, can you help me? Yeah, I'm still on my Oh shit! I'm dead. I'm dead. You fell. Storms. Uh, yeah. do you have kids on me? Come back. Listen, yeah, Jess, you went through. I need to go through. Jess. Um, maybe hurry up. I'm on another roof. I'm on another roof. Jess, where are you, bro? Jess, yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Oh. oh my god. 
all three of my teammates had died. And not only that, but now my teammate April was being killed over and over at spawn. What started as a mission to kill the timekeepers had now become a mission to save April. So with what I had left, I entered into one last fight to stop the timekeepers. You want me to place water? Go, go, go. Yes! Swim. Yes! Yes! Oh, you're up. Okay, okay, okay. Run. They're still chasing, okay, they're still chasing you. Only they're still April. gonna chase you, bro. You cannot get out of this. Charlie, you need to escape. I can't help you. I have to. I have to help you. I can. I can like get out. Okay, so give me an escape route. Oh, what? You dropped another gun for me. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I think. Is that Chipotle? Oh, just Chipotle. Yeah, they're all on me. Yeah, I am now. What a what a chorus! Absolutely juke them out. What the heck? They lost me. I might get away by bow boosting. That's kind of crazy. Why is Jay still one v one me? That's like the number one so move. Why not fire us? Maybe I shouldn't take that actually. Oh yeah. man, I don't have a flint steel. Oh, I'm being crit out. That's so sad. Oh, thank you, Chorus. Oh, my helmet bear. Come on, GG's. Why can't I hit they a bubble anymore? They won't. They won't. Oh, that's even more armor! <laughs> oh, it's over for me. Oh, it's so over. What bro? Uh, something important, I think. <laughs> oh, they're doing four hearts of damage. Uh oh. I had died. Luckily, the base I built earlier saved me from being killed over and over, but I had still lost a stopwatch, meaning I only had two lives left before I couldn't fight back against the timekeepers. But wait, what is a stopwatch? You may remember earlier when I mentioned that every hour you play on this server, you gain a heart, but that's not entirely truthful. On the hourly SMP, we have items called stopwatches that can increase the amount of hearts you gain per hour. Throughout this video, I've been at 1.5 stopwatches, meaning I gain 1.5 hearts per hour. But every time you die, you lose a stopwatch and get one death closer to being banned forever. The timekeepers wanted everyone to be at zero stopwatches so that no one could gain hearts. And if I were to die two more times, I would be achieving their goal, which gave me even more motivation to get my revenge by blowing up my base. And after my death, I now had two main targets, Jay Steel and Ryland. I knew that if I was going to blow up my base, I'd want one of them to get blown up too. So now that I'd finished my new base of operations, it was time to get to work on gathering the TNT. Luckily, another member Cloudy had already built a gunpowder farm, so I set up a regeneration beacon and AFK'd for a couple of hours to get the TNT I needed. And of course, for TNT, you need sand, so I began mining sand while on a call with my teammate Charlie. And while I was mining, we talked about ways we could take down the timekeepers. And that's when Charlie mentioned that she might know where Jay Steel's bed location is. Meaning if we could kill Jay Steel just once, we might be able to ban her off the server forever. So we decided to go and check out her base. And when we got there, we saw Jay Steel alone and decided to attack. But unfortunately, I kind of lost the footage of what happened in that fight, so I'm gonna just summarize what happened. We started attacking Jay Steel, and then she said that her leg was cramping and asked if we could stop the fight. So because we're so kind, we waited until she said go, and then a few seconds later, Ryland shows up. Now it's a 2v2, which actually is really good because Charlie and I are absolutely cooking. But while we're fighting, Charlie tells me that there's void traps all over this base, and be careful so that we don't fall into them. And then she fell into the void trap. Now I'm stuck in a very familiar situation with not enough resources and inside of my enemy's base. I think you could probably guess what happens from there. But that's two lives down and only one left. And if I wanted to blow up my base and kill the timekeepers, I'd need to do it sooner than I had hoped. In order to buy myself some time, I photoshopped a screenshot of me being at 0.0, .0 stopwatches so that the timekeepers would leave me alone. And during that time, I gathered the rest of the sand I needed and crafted a shulker box full of TNT. I now had everything I needed to set up the trap, so I snuck over to my base and began placing the TNT. And after a couple of hours of placing, everything was now set up for the grand explosion. But there's actually a major flaw that I've been overlooking this whole time. How do I get the timekeepers inside my base in order to blow them up? I mean, I can't just tell them to come to my base because they're gonna know that something's up. And even if I got them in my base, how would I keep them inside? They'd easily be able to mine out of my base and escape, even if I tried to block off the exit. No. If I wanted this trap to work, then I would have to sacrifice myself with it. It's risky, but it's the only thing I can do to guarantee success. To get the timekeepers to my base, I would post a screenshot revealing that I lied about being on zero stopwatches, which would anger the timekeepers and make them want to kill me. In that screenshot, I'd give subtle clues that I was at my base, which would trick the timekeepers into finding me and attacking. I'd play it off like I wasn't expecting them to attack, protecting myself and always standing inside my base. But when the time was right, my teammate Charlie would pull a lever, detonating the TNT and killing me and the timekeepers. With a plan in mind, I sent the screenshot and hoped that they'd take the bait, and it wouldn't take long for me to get a response. Oh, 
Rylan Zombie. Surely he gets more people in, right? No way I'm dogging on him with zero pots. <laughs> you could just win the 1v1 if you want. Uh, I don't have like pots there. Yeah, I only have four gaps now. I want more people to show up, but I don't think anyone is, bro. If you're gonna die, say something. Uh, I guess just ignite it. I don't know. I only have one gap. Stuff? I only have one gap. Do you want me to just come up and fight? No, just just let it, let it, let it, let it. I don't know if you he heard it. He didn't hear it. He didn't hear it. Oh! <laughs> Did I get, I didn't it didn't get him. Didn't kill him. It got him. It got him. It got him. Oh my god! Go to spawn! Go to spawn! Go to spawn! CP's there! CP's there! 